The 1882–83 season was the fifth season in the history of West Bromwich Albion Football Club. This was the club's first season at their fourth ground, the Four Acres. The ground had been home to the West Bromwich Dartmouth Cricket Club since 1834, but the cricket club allowed Albion to play football matches there on Saturdays and Mondays. The club wore two different kits during 1882–83, as well as the chocolate and blue halves from the previous season. The club also sported narrow red and white hoops. Albion won their first ever trophy when they defeated Stoke 3–2 in the final of the Staffordshire Senior Cup, winning the competition at the first attempt. They also reached the final of the Wensbury Charity Cup, but lost 5–3 to Knott's Rangers. In the Birmingham Senior Cup, Albion reached the fourth round, having registered their record competitive victory—a 26–0 win against Coesley—in round one. It was the first season in which Albion fielded a reserve side in addition to their first team, the club's second team played 24 matches and went through the season undefeated. Birmingham Senior Cup In the first round of their second Birmingham Senior Cup campaign, Albion beat Coesley by a 26–0 scoreline, having led 17–0 at halftime. Every Albion outfield player scored at least once, goalkeeper Bob Roberts was the only one of the team not to appear on the scoresheet. Harry Aston led the scoring, netting five times, while Billy Bissaker, George Timmons and George Bell also scored hat-tricks in what remains the club's record competitive victory. After receiving a bye in round two, Albion defeated Wolverhampton Wanderers 4–2. This was the first ever meeting between the two local rivals and therefore the first Black Country Derby match. Wensbury Old Athletic were the opposition in the fourth round match. Aston scored for Albion but the team lost 2–1 as Old Athletic eliminated Albion from the competition for the second successive season. Source for match details <laughs> Staffordshire Senior Cup Albion, taking part in the Staffordshire Senior Cup for the first time, defeated Blockswich Strollers 4–0 in the first round replay, following a 3–3 draw. In round two, Albion met local rivals Aston Villa for the first time, and after another 3–3 draw, won the replay with a goal from George Timmins. The team drew 2–2 in the third round, but their opponents St. George's were then disqualified from the competition for fielding two ineligible players in the match, so Albion progressed by default. In the semi-final against Leek White Star, Harry Aston scored a hat-trick as Albion won 8–0 to reach a cup final for the first time. In the final, Albion faced Stoke at the latter's Victoria ground. More than 1,500 West Bromwich Albion supporters took advantage of a special rail excursion to attend the game. Johnson opened the scoring for Stoke after 15 minutes, but Albion replied through Timmins and Fred Bunn. Stoke equalised before half-time when Johnson claimed his second goal of the match. George Bell scored the winning goal in the second half when he headed a cross past Stoke's goalkeeper Wilden. Albion's 3–2 victory meant that they had won their first ever trophy. Source for match details <inaudible> Wensbury Charity Cup Albion participated in the Wensbury Charity Cup for the first time and drew 3–3 with Wensbury Strollers in the first round. In the replay, Albion progressed by a 7–1 scoreline. Harry Aston scored the only goal of the semi-final against Aston Unity at Wellington Road. The final took place at the same venue, against Knott's Rangers. Two goals from Harry Aston and one from Bissaker were not enough as Albion were defeated 5–3. Source for match details Friendly matches As league football had yet to be established, West Bromwich Albion took part in a number of friendly matches throughout the season. 
Among these games was a 10-0 win against Storbridge Standard in which Billy Bissaker scored six goals. This was the first match held at the Four Acres. Later in the season, Harry Aston scored six times as Albion were 10-1 winners against Birmingham Junior Association. The record of the club's matches during their early years is not complete, thus several of the scorelines are missing. Source for match details Topic. See also 1882-83 in English football <laughs> Footnotes <laughs> <laughs>